Jesus said scoffers would come in the last day and so around us in our feeds we see people just laughing and making fun you know we're the butt of the jokes right about the eclipse and everything and but they don't realize these are Christians too many of them yeah we expect the world not to believe but the Christians you think oh they're gonna believe no they're they're laughing they're asleep they're thinking you're superstitious but they don't even remember that Jesus, the, the, when he was crucified, there was an eclipse and there was an earthquake. Those things are signs. The temple veil was rent in two. These, and he said in the last days there will be signs in the heavens, signs in the stars and the planets to, and to be watching for these things. There'd be earthquakes, there'd be wars, there'd be famines. And we're seeing all that stuff. You know, the Bible says technology would be advanced like at rapid speeds, and we're seeing that stuff. And Israel would become a nation again, be drawn back to their homelands and become a nation. We saw that. There's so many signs that have already been fulfilled and so many that are getting ready to. We see the beast system rising and, and making with this technology, making a way where they could, um, you know, where you would not be able to buy or sell without this mark of the beast. It's so easy for them to do now, and we see it. And we just see the world world aligning to war, you know, World War III, and we see it aligning right as the Bible prophecy says, who would attack who, it's lining up at any day, any second, we're gonna be entering World War III. We're already, it's already started, but I mean, we're gonna see just a, an exponential increase soon. And this eclipse is part of a warning. It's the warning of Jonah. It's a warning to repent. We're entering this time of rapid advancement into this end times, this end of the age. And, and a sign of the scoffers is another sign. People laughing and say they've always said that. And that's what you get, isn't it, when you go try to tell people online, even believers, and they're asleep. And we're called to wake them up, you know. Their blood is going to be on our hands if we're not the watchman on the wall warning. God is putting that in our heart to be the watchman's on the wall warning that we're awake. we got to go shake other people awake and say, this is the time Jesus is coming. There is a rapture coming, and he is preparing his bride right now. He is coming for the bride, and he's taking them up to the Lamb's Supper, the bridal supper that will last the seven-year tribulation, and then we will return with Jesus as his army. And he's raising us up, training us as an army now. His bride is an army. We're warriors. We wear combat boots. We're a bride with combat boots on. And that's me, and that's you. And I believe that of everybody that is watching this channel, God is sending you, whether it's 10, 20, 30, a million of you, however many he decides, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to be faithful what he's given me and the word he's given me. But right now the word is, oh, I pray for the, oh, the scoffers, Lord. I pray for repentance. I pray for a heart of repentance to come. I pray for the veil to be rent in two, for them to see that we are in these last days and there are signs in the heavens and that they would wake up and their eyes would just like the Laodicea church. You said that you wanted them to get the eye salve on their eyes so they could see their spiritual sight would be open. They would not be blind. Rent the veil in two. Rent the veil. Rent the veil from their eyes in Jesus' name. Let them begin to see. They think they're rich. They think they know it all. They think they've got everything. In a moment, it's all going to be gone. Even I'd prophesy to you, America, be ready. Be ready. Be vigilant. These are the last days, and things are coming that you're not going to want to come. And you got to be ready now spiritually. Get built up, you believers. Get built up. Things are coming. You're not going to want to come. They're just around the corner. They're coming very quickly. Things that you were laughing about that my prophets have been prophesying, they're coming very quickly. He's warning you, get ready. It's not going to be fun unless you're hearing the voice of the Lord and doing what he says to do, when he says to do. you got to be tuned into the Holy Spirit. And I'm raising you up to be a voice to help others. It's going to be hard times. Hard times are coming. But this video is just about just the times we're in, and, and you that are going out and speaking, and you you know these things, and you're trying, you're getting discouraged because nobody believes you. Don't don't be discouraged. Don't give up. He sent you to this time for such a time as this to be His voice, to be His mouthpiece. Just get alone and hear even more, and and prophesy even louder, and don't throw your pearls to the swine. Be led to who He says to speak to. And just go into the prayer closet and pray for pray for breakthroughs. Pray for 
pray for the veils to be rent. Get with a few other believers. Have prayer times. They're powerful. In Jesus' name, I'll talk to you soon. Happy April 8th. Tiavi TV.